So this week, I wanna help you with your driver, specifically accuracy. So this week, I had many of my students come to me and they're really frustrated because what they're doing is, is they're striking it okay, but they cannot control their accuracy. They've either got a big curve to the right, they're slicing it or they're curving it to the left. They do not know how to hit that much, much straighter ball. And as like my old coach used to say to me, say, Danny, the woods are full of big hitters. Let's start working on helping you hit it straight. So there's only two things you need to know. There's only two things that are actually really caught, causing this curvature. I'm gonna share with you in this video what they are. Now before I do, if you're new to the channel, so your first lessons of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing, I'll always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. Now those are the two shots I wanna help you get rid of today. Do you wanna learn how to hit driver straight? There are just two things you're gonna to need to learn. Let me show you how. So whether you curve your ball out to the right or curve your ball to the left, what is actually happening? What creates that curve? Well, it's the ball spinning. It's got side spin on it, okay? And what that is, is ultimately this. If you are spinning the ball this way out to the right-hand side, that ball is going in this direction. It goes in that direction because your club path of your club is heading in this direction while your face is aiming in the other direction. So they kind of opposite each other. So as your path swings this way, your face is aiming this way and you get this gliding effect on the golf ball and that kind of spins the ball out to the right hand side. If you find yourself, okay, occasionally when you, particularly if you slice, if you find yourself sometimes then hitting it straight left, the only thing you've changed is now the club face is matching the path that you're going on. So no longer is it kind of aiming in the opposite direction, it's now aiming in the same direction that you're swinging on, and then you hit one straight to the left. So what I'm gonna show you is how you start to straighten this out. So it doesn't just go straight left, but goes straight down the middle, okay? Now if you hook the golf ball, it's just the opposite. Your path is heading out in this direction, whilst your face is aiming in this direction. And this then creates this style of side spin, which creates the hook, okay? So let's get into now, really simply, how you go about curing this out on the golf course. Okay, so let's start helping you now hit driver straight. Now, remember what I said, there are two things that you've got to fix, face and path. You don't fix them together. There's a process with this, okay? If you follow the process, I promise you, you're gonna start hitting straighter shots. The very first thing I want you to do, remember this, let's start with slicing. If you slice, your path is going in this direction and your face is aiming in the opposite direction. We're not gonna try and fix the path first, we're gonna fix the face. And here's what I get, two things I give my students to do, okay? Is hold your driver up in front of you here, okay? So it's the face is at 12 o'clock, keeping the handle just ahead of the face. I then want you to do this. Close the face to 11 o'clock at least, okay? Maybe even a bit before. Then I'd like you to grip it. Now, do not make the mistake that nearly everybody who slices does, which is this. They look at the face like this, and they close it by moving the handle back, okay? This will get your path going more left, and you'll slice it even more, so please don't do that. I'll explain that a bit later. Keep the club face, or handle slightly ahead of the face, turn it from 12 o'clock to 11 o'clock, then grip it, okay? That's one way of helping you get a feel of the club face being cl more closed, or I say closed, but we're gonna try to get it matched. Remember, your face is open if you slice, and we're desperately trying to get it much more closed, okay? The second thing I'll often encourage them to do is most people who slice somewhere in the backswing or the downswing are opening, their, opening the club face like this, okay? And what, a real telltale, telltale sign is this lead wrist here gets what we call very cupped. This is opening the face. If you do this with me, watch this. If I bend this wrist back here, I'm cupping it here, it starts to open the face somewhere on the way down. So the first thing I get them to do is get them a sensation of this is closing the face, this is opening the face. Do this with me, look. Open the face. Close the face. Can you see the difference here? Look, I'm, look at my wrist. Opening it, close it. Really feel that motion. See, now you've got an idea of what's going to close this face. That's what you need if you slice. So when I'm swinging it, when you do this, it doesn't really matter, okay? I like to do it more on the backswing, okay? Or it's certainly in transition because you don't have a lot of time in the downswing. So get yourself set. This is the first stage. We want to start to see a ball now that is heading left of target, but much more in a straight line. We'll fix the path in a second. If your ball keeps 
curving out this way, we're gonna keep, in a sense, getting this club face more and more closed until we start seeing a straight line heading left of target, okay? So let's get, let's get cracking. Okay, so look at that, it's much, much better. Look at this. The path look is still minus, which means I'm heading in this direction, but now the face is zero, which is matching my path. So that's why you hit a straight shot to the left. Now, many of my students, when they do this first time, they won't do it first time like that. It'll take them ball after ball until they really get a feel and learn the feel of that club face. This is what I want you to do. Hit shots, ask yourself, you know, I really felt as though I closed that club face. How much out of 10? 10 being loads. Maybe a six, could you do more? Yes, keep going until you start seeing the ball fly straight lines, or even better still, even with a bit of a curve, right to left, but starting left, okay? Yes, you'll miss a fairway left, but now, only then, will ha you have the confidence to start shifting your path in this direction. You see, if you try to shift your path, nobody ever shifts their path in that direction if you slice. It's what you need to do, but you won't. Why? Because you've seen so much of the ball curving this way, the last thing your brain wants to do is head in this direction. But it will once you start missing the fairway left. You'll gain that confidence to start to shift that path over to the right-hand side. So let's get now into how you, once you've got that face ready to go, let's show you now how you get the path working more out this way with some real simple ideas. So you, now you've started fixing the club face, you'll probably start hitting the ball further straight away because now your club face is matching the path. There'll be a lot more energy going into the back of the golf ball. But we want to get you hitting it dead straight or at least getting much more down the middle of that fairway. Now, I always encourage to help people do this, particularly if you slice, I encourage people to visualize much, much more actually of a draw style shot. Because if you slice, if you can try to visualize the opposite of that, you'll get somewhere close to straight. Does that make sense? Trying to hit it straight is too difficult, but if I can help you do the opposite to what you're doing, it will really help. Now to do that, Think of it this way, where's your path? We said it's over this way. We've got to do something to get you going where? Over here. What do you think you could do? Think about it, let's start with setup. What could you do? We could hit my feet, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do everything in our power now to get you going over to the right hand side. So what's gonna help me swing over here? Watch this. I'm gonna move my weight forward a little bit here. I'm gonna turn my shoulders around. I'm gonna Watch this. I'm gonna push this this way a bit more. Why? Because if I'm if I've got more tilt here, I can swing more over here. Look at this. If I get more here, I'm swinging in this direction. So I'm just gonna push that in the diagonal over to that right hand side here, so I can get over there. That's where I want to go, right? So everything: hips, shoulders. One real key ingredient here. Look at my hand, where is it? It's on the back of my leg. This draws my trail shoulder back. I'm lifting my arm up. Everything here, look, is helping me, look, reach in that direction. This is where we want to be going. Too much of slices. Everything's, look, the handle's going back. The body weight's going back. The shoulder's starting to open. And now, look, we're in this kind of chop position. Look at this from here, look. Draw position, draw position. I mean, I'm almost hook position, hook position, hook. This is even hookers. If you hookers, you're doing too much of this. This is exaggerating. We could imagine this. It's hook. So that's a great feeling for slicers. And now look, we're going to gradually move into slice territory. And now we're in slice territory. This is your slicer right there. Okay. So just look at this. And so somewhere in the middle of those, you're going to have to find. Your way. This is where slices you need to feel up here. Hookers, you probably need to be much feeling much more over here. This is how you're going to start to get that path working more here. So get yourself set. I'm going to straighten this up now. I'm going to pivot this around. Hand slightly further forward, keeping that club face closed. I'm going to try and create a beautiful draw that sets off to the right target and comes back. And there we go. Sets off to the right look and then beautifully comes back, okay? Now, this is what I want you to play with, okay? Fix the club face first, only do that. Then build a routine, I'll show you the routine. Build a routine where ultimately what you're doing is, is you get yourself set up here. I put my club in behind the golf ball here. I'm gonna close the face from 12 o'clock to 11 o'clock. 
by keeping my handle slightly ahead. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say to myself, I'm, I'm a slicer, come over here. I'm gonna now try and get the path of this way. What's that like, okay? What, what do I need to do my body to get over in this direction? Feel it, right? Get that sensation. I'm gonna really exaggerate, and nobody ever, by the way, ever exaggerates enough. So if you are still hooking, uh, sorry, slicing it, you need to really exaggerate this. And the student I had this week, a junior student actually, he was consistently trying to get, he didn't want to slice it, he didn't want to hit it over to the right, so he kept moving here. And I was like, no, I kept pushing him this way to try to get almost like his top spin style shot into him. When he did, he got it absolutely brilliantly well, but he had to push himself. I want you to do the same. So set here, really see that, feel that exaggeration, and also start to visualize it. Visualize the ball now setting off out to that right-hand side, a slightly more gentle one here. Do it slow to start with here. I said it out, that's really exaggerated. Set it out to the right-hand side, and watch this. Now it's gonna come back, look with a bit of a curvature from right to left, okay? Now look, if you're hooking the golf ball, you simply just do the opposite. You're probably too much in this position here, too close. So get yourself here, just literally, just imagine this as a spectrum. There's a hook, bring it off. You might have to feel like you're more on top of the golf ball here. Why? Because then you can come more downwards here towards the shot versus under here. So you're you know, more of an overfeeling as opposed to an underfeeling if you're, if you're slicing it, okay? So two things, fix your face, fix your path, and be really exaggerated in what you're doing. And I promise you, just like my students um, on dannymore.com who are, we've been working with a lot recently, particularly slicing is I'm always having to tell them to push more, exaggerate more, exaggerate more. When they do, the results are fantastic. So please do have a look at that. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends. And of course, look, there's a free practice plan in the description box below. So go and check that out. Until next week, have a great golfing week.